Hello and welcome. This time we are talking about capacitive position measurement. Huh? Capacitive position measurement. Measurement. Okay. <laughs> Capacitive position measurement. The trick is we measure the capacity of a capacitor and we want to change the capacity of the capacitor. Okay? And we want to change the capacity of this capacitor in a way that the capacity of the capacitor reflects the movement of something. Okay? There are several possibilities how this might be achieved. If you think of a capacitor, yeah, if you think of a capacitor, there are two plates. So a classical capacitor, and there is an area, yeah, and there's a distance. The bigger the area is, the more capacity. The bigger, uh, the smaller the distance is, the more capacity it is. Okay, and those two things. I can, I can use one simple solution, one simple solution, yeah, simple solution, one solution, let's say, yeah, for instance, is to move those plates apart, yeah? so there might be some plates which are faced like this, And the other plates faced like this. And one of these things can be moved. This means the active area of this capacitor this is now this tiny part. Yeah. If I move it together, it will get bigger. Okay? Then I'm changing this A. There is even one thing which which this might for linear, might be for linear, and there's even something for rotary, rotary changes. It looks very special, let's say, because it has fixed fixed plates, they look like this somehow, yeah. Ooh, let's see if I, if I can draw this, I will draw five, I think that's enough, these are the fixed plates, and there's a rotary part, and there are other plates, There are other plates exactly located in between. Mm -hmm. Does not look too bad, I would say. Yeah. Okay, this is one side, one blade. And these are the other plates, and one of these, or one part of this plate, can be turned. Yeah. Also then, a bigger, because here we have this overlapping part, and if I turn them together, yeah, this overlapping part will increase. I also change the area. Yeah. In, old, in old radios, you might see something like this, rotary capacitors. So this is... Linear position measurement, this is rotary position measurement or angle position measurement. There is even a, another trick yeah, where we're using one plate second plate There you 
what? They are not they are not close to each other. Yeah, there is the sensor head, both are located inside the sensor head. Yeah. And now I put this This is also some conductive material, let's say a sheet metal. Yeah. Sheet metal. Yeah. And in between there is some coating or something I want to measure the distance. Okay? There is some coating. I can imagine now that we do have a little capacitor here. Huh? And we do have a little capacitor here. Huh? This is some area, some distance. This is some area, some distance. This is a ring. From, from the bottom it would look like this. Yeah? This is one. And this is the other plate. So this is one and this is two. This is one, this is two, this is also two. Yeah. Just cut it here. So we do have an area of one, we do have an area of two, yeah. and both have a distance. Yeah. If I now say, okay, this coating, I want to measure this coating here, yeah, has always the same material, yeah, and also the sizes, they are not changing, the sizes of the, of the probe, of the sensor are not changing, right? Then the only variable is this distance here. Yeah. If it's a big distance, the, the uh, capacity will decrease if it's low distance the big capacity will increase okay there is some electronic measuring this measuring this distance you can uh, adjust the, elect the, the, the electrical properties of this coating material of this isolating material here yeah? and then you can adjust a sensitivity a usual sensitivity is 100 micrometers by volt. Yeah? There's an output of this electronics. Yeah? Every time this changes 100 micrometers, it will change one volt in output. This is, for instance, like I said, coating of a sheet metal, yeah? Lackdichte. Yeah? Coating of your car, for instance. See if it was already crashed. These are working usually that way. Yeah? Capacitive position measurement. Usually for small, small, small changes here. Okay. This would be the possibilities of capacitive position measurement. So it's either change of the distance yeah, or change of the area. This thing here can also, of course, you can also think of one plate, second plate. If you only have small movement, one plate is moving. Yeah. Here, the distance is changing. Yeah. If this is fixed. And here, the area is changing. Wow! Big fat A. And here, also, the area is changing. Here, the. Okay? Yeah, that are the principles. For this time, that's it. Next time, we are going to talk about rotary measurement. I know there are a bunch of other other distance measuring and, and, and position measuring things as well. We know this one, for instance. Yeah? We measure distance with this one. Yeah? Ultrasonic devices. There are, there are non-touching uh, inductive devices as well. Yeah? I will not mention every every possible position measurement. There are also uh, transsonar position measurements. Yeah, also very accurate.
let's keep it let's keep it that way yeah? next time we will discuss the difference between rotary measurement and linear measurement yeah? we'll see it will not be that high yeah and for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye